In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. In today's gospel, Jesus reveals his Father to be the God of the living and leads us through death to risen life. And as we prepare to celebrate this liturgy, let us ask God's mercy for the times we have failed to trust where God is leading us. Lord Jesus, you are the God of the living. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you proclaim hope in eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you promise your faithful ones a share in your risen life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, amen. amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers, speaking for the others, said, what do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death, he said, you accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport. He put out his tongue at once when told to do so and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of his laws, I disdain them. From him, I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. When he was near death, he said, it is my choice to die at the hands of men with the hope God gives of being raised up by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just 
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. Finally, brothers and sisters, pray for us so that the word of the Lord may speed forward and be glorified as it did among you and that we may be delivered from perverse and wicked people for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. We are confident of you in the Lord that what we instruct you, you are doing and will continue to do. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the endurance of Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us if someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman, but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and likewise all seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the, resu res res the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, the children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels. And they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called out, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living for to him all are alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think we all like a good riddle every once in a while. So, Mary's father has four children. Three are named Matthew, Mark, and Luke. What's the fourth one named? Mary. Mary, right. <laughs> You're awake this morning, that's good. How many months have 28 days? All of them, all of them. Only one has just 28, but all of them. How many seconds are there in a year? 12. January 2nd, February 2nd, okay. What, has, what is full of holes but can still hold water? A sponge. Oh. Today, the Sadducees are doing kind of a riddle with Jesus about this, this kind of ridiculous story that they devised about the, the woman and the seven husbands that she had, the brothers, and wondering, wondering okay, so in eternity, whose wife is she going to be? She married all seven of them. Makes you wonder though, they all died, right? <laughs> but Jesus says, 
that the children of this age marry and remarry, but those worthy of heaven neither marry or are given in marriage. Now he's not downplaying marriage. You see, because marriage is founded first and foremost on love. And as St. John tells us, God is love. So those who live in love live in God and God in them. So in the marriage relationship, founded in love, finds its perfection in eternal life. Right? Because that's when we're united totally in love. So when one spouse dies, and I've seen this many times, you know, people have been married for many, many years. And when one spouse dies, you know, there's a void in the life. And not only missing that person, but they're also missing the experience of God. Because in their relationship, the love in their relationship is God. God is love. So when one spouse dies and goes on to eternal life, there's a void. But that spouse who dies finally finds the fulfillment of that love, which is imperfect here among our human relationships, even in marriage. That's why we say that the marriage bond lasts until death. And that's when Jesus says that, you know, it's not, it, we won't, it won't matter in heaven about marriage, right? Because marriage leads us to eternal love, to perfect love. So my, my father, okay, he married my mom. She died when I was 16. A couple years later, he remarried. And then my dad died. And then my stepmother died a couple years ago. Does my dad have two women in heaven? No. They're all united in the perfect love. That which they found, that, that love that they found in the relationship on earth now finds its fulfillment. So there's no need for, for any seeking out any other kind of human relationships because we find our fulfillment in the love of God. So as we think about that and we see how, how marriage leads us and the, the married couple, the job of them is to lead each other to eternity, finding that perfect love. But for the Sadducees today, we see that they didn't, uh, you know, they were, these were the ones that didn't believe that there is a resurrection. As he said, the sad, some Sadducees, those who deny that there's a resurrection, came forward with this ridiculous thing. If they don't believe in the resurrection, why are they even asking Jesus? So, our last riddle for today. Do you know why we call them Sadducees? Well, if they don't believe in the resurrection... They don't believe in happiness and eternal life, and therefore, they're sad, you see? <laughs> Together we profess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And let us make our needs known to God who faithfully hears us and answers our prayers. That all members of the church show by their manner of living that they are seeking perfect union with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all peoples of the world come to a peaceful union with one another and perfect union with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who lived without hope find solace in Jesus' words of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us faithfully follow Jesus' lead through death to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For respect for life from the moment of conception to the moment of our last natural breath, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Saving God, your Son Jesus taught us to believe and hope in the resurrection of the dead. 
Hear these our prayers that one day we might enjoy perfect union with you in everlasting life and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you made love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And 
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her loving husband, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the peace of Christ. Peace, Lord. Peace, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May our loving God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be merciful as your heavenly Father is merciful. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh, beautiful for space.